guys, it's Mimi with Sensors. Just the video may be kind of bad today if so I'm recording it from my webcam because my video camera is dead and my phone is on the charger. <laughs> so today I'm going to do a tack box tour, which is more like a grooming box, but I have like no tack in it. So this is what it looks like. Oh, also, I'm videotaping this in my house for the first time. I'm in my TV room. Kind of messy because I was just babysitting the kids were in here. So I'm sorry. This is what it looks like with the, with the clothes that have two of these latches and one of these where you can put a lock on it. It's pretty big. I don't know the dimensions of it, but it's all my stuff. And then here I'll do an old version of this one. That's what it looks like. It has one component and it slides around like one box of paper. I'm going to start with that and you can just slide, but I have so much stuff that has to slide. So, in here, it's like that. And I, uh, let me see, put this back in the box so it doesn't bother me. Okay, and here I have off bug spray. I have a tack cleaning rag, white, or sometimes I'll use it for the face, depending on what I've done with it in the last few days. I have a main comb. I have some saddle, saddlers, one step leather cleaner and conditioner. Um, this stuff's really runny, but other than that, I like it. Like, it's like a... It's not like most saddle cleaner I've ever used. It's either like a soap or you spray it and it doesn't really run. This is like water. And then I have a... Ew. That's gross. Like I have like a hard brush. It's funny. It's... So you can see that it's dusty, even though I just washed it. Um, and then I classify this as a medium brush. Um... It's a good brush, I like it. I have some Brickmore quality product since 1882. So I did I couldn't find the name of it. <laughs> and it's like a hardener. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know if I like it or not. I'm kinda scared to use it. So it has big warning signs, don't get it on your skin. And don't get it on the coronary bed, so it's like scares me. And I have some what? Um, clear flyer repellent. Hang on. First, yeah. I want to show you guys what this looks like. First, this is what it looks like. It's just clear. You can put it in the ears, you can put it around the eyes, the legs, wherever they really did eat enough by flies before I use it. And then I have some tough stuff for toughener to date. Conditioner show quality cosmetic. This I use almost every day. I like it. I'm sorry, I had my ears itching. Then I have an um shedding blade, which if you push down, you can slide it until it opens. It's hard to get back. Oh, okay. Shining blade, um, and then I have some two different types of worms. I have cybermectin, and I have I have cybermectin. I have this one. I swarm every six weeks since my worms go all over, and I have different animals. Um, I switch my wormers though. I rotate between Safeguard, Cybermectin Gold, Ivermectin, and Strongit. And I'm gonna start. Also, I'm going to do a review on everything over here, which is conditioner, shampoo, whitening agents, slice from under review, and all that stuff. Next, I'm going to do inside my like, everyday grooming case. It has three pockets in the front. The first pocket, there's triple care, triple antibiotic ointment. The second pocket, there's uh, metal per pulling comb. That was a, I got a really good deal. It was like 88 cents in the tap shop. I like it. Then I have a banding comb. Okay. Hold down. And then I have some 
spray bands for banding and braiding. And it, this is really gross. Okay, I'm going to clean it for a minute. Just a 20cc syringe if I have to give anything orally. Yeah. I'm going to have two metal hook pits, no brushes. I have one with a brush, I just don't want to know where it is. Okay, then from the inside, I have a bathing sponge. Um, a soft brush. This is by, I wish, Tail Tamer. I really, really like this brush. Soft enough you can use it on the legs, but hard enough it really does work as a finishing brush. Sorry, this cat box is packed full. And then I have sorry, this really, really old wooden brush, which is now my hook brush. It's like a, I'd call it a soft brush. It even has somebody's name carved into it, which I don't even know who that is. I found it. I washed it and cleaned it. They said I could have it from my barn. Um, then I have, no, <laughs> sorry. Okay, and then I have this, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it a medium brush, wood back. I don't really like it. It's old. I don't really use it ever. And then I have this. You use it to apply a polish. You know, you know, one of those, they're useful at times, especially if you tend to drop your brush in the mud like I do. Trying to get everything back, so I know if I don't, I'm going to lose all of it. Then there's more still. And then I have over on this side, there's no, well, there is a pocket but they're on the inside, if you know what I mean. I have another shedding blade. I have horse shave. They're shavers for like the nose and stuff. Um, for the ears, I don't use them, but they say you can. What I use for my ears is just the old disposable razor. I have a blue comb. I have a two-in-one grooming or bathing mitt. I use it as a bathing mitt. I have a hard curry. Okay, I need a new grooming bag. organized quickly before I move on. It took me forever to get it organized in the first place and I really don't want to lose it. Okay, then I have a goat hair face brush. It's really, really soft. I have a jelly shrubber. It has like a bigger side and it has a finer side. I really like it. Oh, I need to spark quickly. I really like it a lot. Like I use it every time I groom. Then I have this coarse curry. It's by Grip It. I really like it. This is probably one of my favorite brushes. This is a Grip It brush. I love it. If it's made perfectly, it's really hard. I love it. Okay. Just gotta take it where that goes with it in a minute. Then I have some show scene finishing spray. Um, I said I'd do a review on this spray, so well. The show scene finishing spray. I prefer this when we squirt it because this tends to get clogged. I have some Ultra Shield, again, at Cell Fly Spray. I also prefer the one where you can sort it because this tends to foam up and get clogged. And no, I do not shake it. And I have some Sleek and Shine Sleek Finish by. I don't know who it's by. I think it's by Aussie. But it's for humans, but I use it on my horse. It gives me a really nice tail. I use it before the show. Okay, and then I also have one more pocket over here. And in this pocket I have a big, like, hard sponge, which I use for hooves. You can work with hoof polish and on. And I have an O-ring snaffle, which I don't know why it's in there. Okay, then we move on to the right side of my cast box. On the right side I have a metal curry comb. Now this is all stuff that either didn't fit in my grooming bag or this little box thing. I have a regular curry. My baby wipes. I have a salt block. Apple flavored salt block for like long out. For 
really long shows that I go to, like evening shows, and things like that one, I always have an extra one. I have some, um, MT, the MTG and a little spray bottle, so yeah, me. I have some pink vet wrap. This is also a really good brush, but I really like it, so I try and save it. It's on a um, hard brush. It's it's by Legends, and it has like a star in the back. I really like it. It really helps with the at all. I have some baby powder, which I use for whitening the top. My hair. And then I also have treats. And this, I have two different types. And this one, I have um, apple, spice, and carrot flavor. They're like the rip off fit brand of Tractor Supply. And then I have some um, Mano Pro Bite Size Apple Nuggets. Mothers love those. They really, their favorite, favorite, favorite is the peppermint flavor. And then in this one, I have two different types of look at Tree Bar. One type I have, um, Peppermint, they don't really like these stuff. The other type I have, cherry. I have cherry. My hands smell like MTG now. And then I have sugar cubes. I am a treat pig. Well, my horses are. And then I have. This doesn't really fit if I put it in my grooming bag. It doesn't look really good. Biosorbent, I have a sweat scraper. Okay, now I will on to all the sprays and start at the top one all the way down. I have some main and tail detangler um, review. I like it really <laughs> a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, it works really well. I use it on my hair even. My hair gets really knotted. It works very well on the horse's tail. It doesn't make it greasy or slippery. I use it to my mare has a really thick tail. Um, I just spray it down, section it out, and brush it up, and she doesn't lose hair. Oh, another thing I want to do a review on really, really bad. I don't have it in here, it's downstairs, so I used it on my dog. <laughs> it's the Oscar Curry Comb. Okay, I love, 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 love the Oscar Curry, not Curry Comb, main brush, main brush. Now, I don't know why I said Curry Comb, I'm just thinking about doing a new Curry Comb. The Oscar main and tail brush. I'm in love with it. Wait, do I have it up here? Hang on, I think I might actually have it up here. I do. I lied. I used it on my dog up here before. It's the Oscar Mane and Tail Comb. I brush, rather. Brush. I love this. You do. This combined with the um, Mane and Tail Detangler. You don't lose any hair. I love it. So this is an AAA Blast for me. Okay. Next, I have back on track here. I have some Paul Mitchell Smoothing which I use on my hair, but I also use on my hair. It's really expensive. It's like 20 bucks for this. Maybe more. Yeah. And I have some. The review on that, it's okay. It was very kind of greasy. Though. I have some Man and Tail Spray and White Spray and Shampoo Tip. This plays out blue, which I didn't know until I used it. Well, not blue. More like a purple. Blue slash purplish color. Um, If you leave it on too long, it does stain. It's a really good, the well, ones you don't leave it on too long, which I've done before, and then you go into the ring with purple slash blue socks on your horse, so be careful how long you leave it on for. Other than that, it's good. Next, I have some Man and Tail shampoo. Um, I've used this a few times over the summer for shows. I really like it. It leaves me a really nice shine. In my book, I think it's the favorite shampoo I've ever used. Then I have some spray and water lotion shampoo. I've only reused this once. I like it a lot. It works well. It's by um, Miral Coat. It works well, and it doesn't. It sprays out clear, not like blue or anything. Then I have some Ultra Shield EX repellent, fly repellent, matte repellent. Um, I like it. It does. This is the only fly spray. Even though it has so many chemicals, it's so worth it. It's the only fly spray that I found that works besides swap, which you can't cover your whole horse with. And then I have some Shoshin Waterless Stain Remover and Whitener. 
sorry, I want to say that was clogged. This does spray clear. Um, I can't remember if I did just spray it on my couch. Um, well, my couch is covered. Works well. I like it. I've only ever used it on a tail, though, so I'd be careful if you're using it on white socks. Just a mani tail conditioner. Again, I've used it a few times over the summer, just like the shampoo. It works well. There's some of the nice gloss, although not greasy feeling. A tip, don't condition the mane if you're going to band it or braid it. It doesn't work all well. I have some mane and tail protect, you know, medicate it, skin and wound treatment. Um, I used this when I first got rain rot. Cleared it right up. I really like it. I have some, love the smell of this. I have some 2 in 1 Soothes for extra softness. Um, coconut scent it. Uh, kid shampoo by Suave. I really like this for both mane and tail body. It's okay, but mane and tail works really, really well. And then I have some bath ultra hydrating conditioning shampoo. Face you only need to put in like an ounce or two. I only put it. I put in two like squirts all of it into a bottle of warm water. It works really, 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 really well. Like I don't know which I like. I don't know if I like Shoshin more or if I like this one more. It's a close call. Um, so I like it a lot. It's expensive though. It's for this bottle, I think it's like 18 or 20 dollars. Um, and that's it for my attack box. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm sorry for the mistakes I made. I was over excited. So, I'll see you next week. Bye!